Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to debug in um, Discord.js. I hope this helps a lot of people so that they don't have to um, like wait for me to wake up in the morning and stuff and um, help you. Um, instead, you can actually learn how to do this yourself, and it will also be pretty useful for future coding products. Okay, so let's just start the first one. So let's open up a new terminal. I have three different errors. I have no idea what I put in this because I created them all like a week ago or so. So, um, this is just going to be a surprise for me, I guess. So let's just start up my bot. <sighs> okay, fine. So let's do error. Oops, spelled it wrong, actually. Okay. So now... Here, so obviously we're gonna have the module not found because I spelled it wrong and um It's basically just saying that it cannot find the module because we're using So basically for command handlers who are running whatever is in here and whenever it starts with a prefix Um and something that's not found here. It will give us an error, but it won't crash the bot So it doesn't really matter. We can just ignore that. But here we have our first error um error.js and here, so right now I'm going to teach you where you can find these errors, and it tells you what has happened, and sort of gives you some um, idea of what to do. So here, um, all errors usually start off with um, giving the directory, so um, users, desktop, testbot, and commands, so in our commands folder, so now we're finally in our bot, um, in the commands folder, and then on error.js, and this right here is the line number, so this is line 3. So it's saying that we have an error on line 3. So now, it's saying, ex so this error right here is pointing to exactly where this starts. So, saying Discord is not defined. So, let's check this out really quick. Is Discord defined? No, it is not. So, basically, to create a message embed, you actually have to, um define discord because it's a function by discord.js um message.channel.send and stuff as this is not discord.js related because um you can as long as you're like connected to this to discord in general like with the token and stuff you do, you do not need discord.js to send messages and stuff but specifically this requires discord.js um message embeds so let's quickly define it const discord spell it wrong is equal to require discord.js and as you can see it actually shows the module so um once we've done that let's just save it i'm pretty sure i have like two or three errors in each of them so it should be fun <sighs> okay let's run it again error okay so here we are so let's go here here okay so, I actually remember this one, error.js, so in the same thing, right, on line 3 again. So, what could be the problem, right? We need this redefine Discord. So, saying that um, discord.messageembed.setTitle is not a constructor. So, this is actually a function. So, every single function has to have these little parentheses, okay? And this basically separates it from here because um, it's just... Like, as, as you can see, without these spaces, like, these, um, these spaces don't mean anything. It still runs the code as if there was no spaces. So, um, if I just do this, this would still work, right? You just we use these spaces um, in these line enters to make it look a bit better. So, if we actually see this, this does not work, right? So, we need to put these right here, and this will separate it. And this is actually a um, a something that comes from Discord.js that will work. So, I'm pretty sure I have like one or two left here. Maybe one. I forgot. So, let's just run this again. Let me actually copy and paste this. Okay. So, here we have another one. Uh, what's this one? Okay, so we already did that one. Okay. So, error.js, right? And it's saying that it starts right here on line 8. So, um, so in commands, error.js, on line 8. It says message is not defined. Well, why is it not defined, right? Uh, we define it here. But as you can see, this is actually spelled differently from how we spelled it here. Um, so, basically, in our index.js, what we're doing is we're actually um, exporting this 
and this message is whatever you did for um client on message here client on message is async so if i change this to message and then this to message and we actually exported this to fully spelled message then this would work right um well first we'd also have to check that we um do this but in this case we're not going to do that and instead we're just going to um change this because this is way easier so now this is our parameter that we exported from our module exports and now let's file save this and i think that should be it for this one if it's not then um i'll be surprised because i only remember putting that many oh okay yes yeah, so, so it worked subscribe if you see this subtitle here yes it's okay so that worked so now let's move on to our next one forgot which parameters is needed okay so manage messages uh, pretty sure this is a warn yeah okay, you cannot warn yourself okay that's a dead giveaway right there error two so i think i'll just ping my alt okay let's get to our first error so let's go here so we already saw these ones from error.js so the only one that's actually useful is from error2.js right right now it's saying that it's on the 11th line right here and it's saying um wait is only valid in async functions at the top level of bodies of modules okay so let's see so we use the wait right and it's saying that we need to async um functions right so this is actually right here as you can see we did not async this function for our um for our exports so let's just quickly async this pretty sure i'm like many in here i forgot how many but um i think it's like four at least four okay let me actually just copy and paste this okay Oh, I need a reason now. Okay, um, let me copy and paste this. Oh, no more errors. This shouldn't be happening. Okay, um, could have sworn there's supposed to be more errors, but um, here we see it's undefined. Um, so how can we fix this? Undefined. Um, as you can see, this is where our emoji is usually at, right? So if this is um, if this is the emoji, then that means that something's wrong with the emoji. Um, as you can see, we misspelled it right here. Um, when we're trying to define our emoji, message emojis cache to find emoji emoji name. Um, and that should be good if we run this again. Oh, I accidentally. Oops! I clicked on some random thing. Now my computer is probably gonna crash. Yeah, let's not save the workspace. Let's just save it. I could have sworn I had more in here. I might have fixed them when I was testing this, but I forgot. Okay, let's just run this again and it should work. Um, let's go to general. Let's just paste this. Delete it. Okay, logs. Where is our logs? Did we get an error this time? Okay, well... It didn't actually send because this is from the previous one but um you know what let's just move on to the next one uh so this is error three let's do error three error three be sure this is a mute command yep this is a mute command and we just need a target i think so let's just get our target Okay, so let's get our first error done. This is error.js. This is completely useless except for as soon as it says error3.js. So here we have our standard error format, right? Error3.js. And right here, as you should know, is 13, line 13. It says target ID is not defined. Well, one way that we can um, check is if we highlight this. Well, and obviously, I think it's case. Um, to lowercase, so basically it's not case sensitive. So as you can see, this is spelled with a capital D. So let's change this to a capital D. Um, let's file save this. I think I have a few more errors in this one command. So let's just run this again. 
Okay, so dot set color. So it's basically the same thing. Um, if we go to 15, line 15, and error 3. Um, forgot to add these parentheses. File save this. Okay, let's start it up. Okay. Verify is not defined. Well, did we define our verify? Let's check. So we can check this by highlighting this. As you can see, nothing else is highlighted above here. I honestly don't want to do this emoji thing, so I'll just delete it in general. But um, if you had the same problem, then you just like get this from whatever here, fire emoji, and you just copy and paste this into there. Um, so let's clear, no space dot, start it up again. I think I had one more, maybe? Yep, okay. Uh, yep, the um, confirmation. So let's go here, 18, line 18 in error3.js. And as you can see, right here, it was never defined. But, oh, what? It was defined right here. But let's check the spelling. There's actually an AAE instead of an O. So as you can see, um, so if you didn't catch that, see, okay, so, so, so when you, whenever you define something, right? And, um, and basically you don't use it. This is going to be, there is, it's basically going to be like transparent. I don't know how to describe this. And if you click on this, it will just say confirmation is declared, but its value is never read. Um, and that is a huge red flag there, unless it's like some sort of function or something. And it will just be transparent like that. But, um, otherwise, if you see this, then you should probably check your spelling for all of your variables. So let's just um, change this really quick. As you can as you can see, as soon as this is used in the correct spelling, this is um, immediately um, highlighted. So let's file not save this. And not file dot save. I'm not. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Let's just start our bot. I think that was the last one. There might have been one more. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay, that was the last one. Oh no no, there's still one more. Air 3 on line 20. I'm pretty sure you can actually like control click. Yep, and it'll actually bring you here. Yeah, I I did the same thing here. I probably should have just done it once because this is really getting annoying. Okay, so let's just clear no space dot. Let's just unmute um my test person thing. Oh, <laughs> both they, they both tried it at the same time. Okay, um, let's do Ares3.js now. There we go. Has been oh my god, I can't speak. It has been successfully muted by at JoeyBean until you unmute them using the unmute. So, yeah, we didn't get any, oh, we did get an error. Looks like message.channel.logs.sn. Oh, yeah. Um, this, this would not be message.channel.log, so send, this is just message.channel. Whenever you use message.channel, um, this message does not mean send a message in the channel, this actually means, um, the message, this is like, I think it's an event, if I'm, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but basically, um, whatever message started this command, um, you can actually grab many things, like message.field, message.field.name, message.channel, and so on. So whatever, wherever this message was sent, you can actually specify the location, such as message.channel, and this will see um, whatever message started this command, and find the channel, and then you can send that into the channel that of the message, that, if that makes sense. So um, let's just delete this logs, because we do not need it. What, what you would need it for is, if you didn't want it message.channel, you would just do logs like logs.send, but first you obviously have to define logs as a channel, you have to find it, like um, cache.find, the channel name, and let's just say this, I think that was the last error. Oh, I spelled that wrong. <sighs> yep, and it gave me a huge error. Doesn't matter though. Okay, let's go back here. Okay. I'm not sure why it double sent, but okay. So as you can see, this is finally done. Um, if you did enjoy, like and subscribe. Sorry that I haven't uploaded. I've had a lot of tests and homework and stuff. 
um, and some personal things going on. So I hope you understand. Um, if you have any uh, questions or some suggestions for new videos, join my Discord server or comment down below, and I'll try and help you. Okay, so that should be it for the video. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. I'm planning to do a database video soon. Um, if you want, I can actually demonstrate what my bot can do. Like my just Unicode bot. So, Warren at Soccer Cool Dude Reason. Okay, um, yeah, so this is my bot. And then it actually, um, basically, there's a database and it saves all the stuff to the database. So, Warren's at Soccer Cool Dude. And shows reason, shows the time, shows the Warren author. Um, it's pretty cool. You can also clear Warren someone and it deletes all of the information on them. If I do, whoops. Warren's at soccer cool dude. They'll say that he has none. Okay. So, um, just, just wanted to show you that and what we might be able to do in the next video. And I'll see you all in the next video. So, bye.